Symmetry can be seen in many things around us. In nature, the flowers, the tree leaves, the beehives, the body of almost all animals, even human beings are the best examples of natural symmetry. Symmetry can also be found in man-made objects, for example, prints or clothes. A figure has line of symmetry if there is a line about which the figure may be folded so that the two parts of the figure will coincide. Jewelers, architects and engineers also use the concept of symmetry. In this chapter, we will study the following concepts. Symmetry in solids. Here we will learn about visualizing if line L is considered as a mirror in which each half is reflected on the other, then the line L is said to be the line of symmetry. In a pentagon, there are five lines of symmetry which divides the pentagon into equal halves. Here we will learn about plane symmetry. A solid figure has plane symmetry. If there is a plane such that the reflection of its half on one side coincides with the other half, then it is said to be symmetrical. A. Take a cone and cut it into parts as shown in the figure. If we place any one of the parts against a shiny surface like a mirror, then the plane symmetry exists as we can see in the first animation. B. If we cut a cone into two parts in different way, then we observe that it is not a plane of symmetry and we can see this in the second animation. Here we will learn about bilateral symmetry. Living creatures have a single plane of symmetry and such symmetries are called bilateral symmetries. Visualization of slices and cross sections. You may have seen in previous classes the cross sections of a solid cut into slices. Let us see when a blade is perpendicular to the long edge height of the cylinder. The slices are a rectangle as we can see in the animation.